Good morning. Welcome to your Monday morning, early morning intuitive guidance. I was still feeling like it was Sunday. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2024. It arrived without me as it does every year, um, but glad to start a new year and see what this one has to bring for us. Good morning, Jo Neal. Welcome. Glad you are here. You're the first one popping on this morning, so happy new year. Get us started. Good morning, Peggy. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. People starting to roll in now. We'll just give it a minute and let everybody gather. Our tribe of practical rebels. Good morning, Beth. Welcome, welcome. Cindy, good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. Glad everybody's rolling in. Good morning, Susan. Awesome. Oh, thank you for the sunrise. Very pretty. Still pitch black here, but as it typically is at this time of year. Good morning, Janine. Welcome. Glad you're here. So let's do a little bit of breathing. I already did some tapping this morning. So let's do a little bit of breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, welcoming in this new year, new opportunities, new things to look at, much to learn, all kinds of good stuff going to unfold this year. Day one. Absolutely. Absolutely. And interestingly, we have a card deck that po have popped up that we have not seen in quite some time. Native Spirit deck, Denise Lynn. So for those who are not familiar with Denise Lynn, she does a lot of things for Hay House. And um, her work is called Soul Coaching. Um, she is of Cherokee descent and so infuses a lot of her wisdom with Native learnings and I greatly appreciate that, having um, learned much from Anishinaabe people up in Rapid River, Michigan. So we've got a card today that I think is a beautiful way to start the year. Offerings. Offerings. And it's showing an image of Stonehenge. Offerings. Let's see what it has to tell us. Just opening yourself up to receive. Starting this year off well. Let's... Imagine where we're going to be 365 days from now. Good morning, Gwen. Good morning, good morning. Happy New Year. So this is fresh start. Let's see what we get. Offerings. Card meaning. The universe is grateful for you. The universe is grateful for you. You are a gift to the world. Feel gratitude for everything in your life, even the things that don't seem perfect. Appreciation for everything flows through you in great bounty. Cherish the preciousness of life and everyone and everything around you, and thus you will be cherished. Again, I think a, a fabulous perspective to open this up for all of us is that of the curious observer. Looking through those curious eyes, I wonder what I'm going to see today. I wonder what I'm going to hear today. What I'm going to experience today. Just opening it all up. Your native spirit wants you to know. Every native culture throughout history has made offerings, often on a daily basis. Offerings were made to the sun, the earth, the plants, and the animals, and to everything in creation. The offering, offerings varied culture to culture, but they were always made with a feeling of extreme appreciation for the bounty of life. And that was one of the things that I learned from the Anishinaabe people is appreciating things as you harvest them, whether you're cutting branches off trees for Christmas, whether you're um, harvesting wild raspberries, whatever it is, offering appreciation for that and taking only the amount you need, leaving the rest for others in need, um, maybe putting down some tobacco to honor what you're harvesting. There's all kinds of things that, as I was raised, as a white person in America, good morning, Lucy, we're not a part of our culture. We just took what we needed or thought we needed as opposed to offering thanks for whatever crosses our path that we're meant to harvest. Whole different way of being. Whole different way of being. Gratitude was the secret to a joy-filled life. True thankfulness can work like modern-day alchemy in your life, yielding happiness and peace beyond imagination. I love that. True thankfulness can work like modern day alchemy. So you're turning, good morning, Carolyn. You're turning the things in your life into what it is that you um, need and want. 
And yes, it's okay to have wants. Again, there's abundance out there. It's when some of us feel that scarcity and start to hoard resources that we end up with shortages. When we keep things moving, when we allow the flow. Again, I love that um, Byron Katie story about her having been gone and um, doing, doing her work. And when she came home, her house had been ransacked. Everything was gone. They had taken everything. And she experienced and expressed gratitude that even though the method that those things left her home was not nice, not pleasant, she could see beyond that. Thank you for all the hearts and rainbow. That's very pretty. Um, she could see beyond that and know that, okay, for whatever reason, it was time to clear out my house. It's time for new to flow in. Those things that were here are meant to be with someone else. If they weren't meant to be with someone else, they'd still be here, but they're not. So they're not meant to be here. It's that whole different mindset of acceptance and allowing. So I, I believe this could be a great year for us all to practice acceptance and allowing and see what unfolds. It's simple. Find what's good and wonderful in every moment. Thank you, Cindy, for posting that. I appreciate it because that's such a beautiful, beautiful saying. Find what's good and wonderful in every moment. So right here as you're sitting here, what's good and wonderful in every moment? I am greatly appreciative for my humidifier because the heat just kicked back on and it's so dry in here. So I appreciate my humidifier. I appreciate my Believe cup and the water that it holds. So rather than going through the day unconscious, bringing consciousness to everything that's going on around us, every little bit, every little bit, find what's good and wonderful in every moment. Cup of herb tea, beautiful, fabulous. Thank you, Cindy. No matter what's happening around you, there's always something to be grateful for. Whatever you appreciate in life will grow. So discover what you're thankful for, even the people and situations you found challenging, and watch miracles unfold. I think those of us who've been around family the, over the holidays have had those opportunities to see what is yet unhealed <laughs> and work on that. Do something with that. Maybe you do some breath work with that. Maybe you do some journaling with that. Maybe you have a therapist you see. Maybe you have a coach. Whatever. Connecting. I actually got a text message last night from someone. I had texted her just to check in, kind of see how things were going because she had some difficulties. And she texted back and, and said that um, she was allowing herself the opportunity. She went to a breathwork thing yesterday, um, allowing herself the opportunity to do her work, to do her healing work. And when something unpleasant happens, that kind of pokes us and we go, ooh, there's something that's not healed yet. View it as opportunity, a chance to rectify that situation, to make something better. The journey, so here's our journey, what we can do today. As a suggestion, make an offering to whatever nurtures your soul. So I want you to think about right now, what are some things that nurture your soul? So Cindy mentioned her cup of tea. What might be a way of honoring the tea? Maybe she holds her hands over the cup and blesses that cup of tea as she's drinking it. Maybe um, trees are one of the things that fills your soul. Maybe as you're out walking, you just touch some of the trees as you pass them. An honoring, an offering of your gratitude for their being there. Anything, anything. If you're nurtured by a particular place in nature, for example, you might consider leaving some fruit at the base of a tree for the animals in that area to give thanks for the beauty that is there. It might be offering up a prayer when you're in a beautiful place. It might be as you're out for your walk, having gratitude for your legs that are working well enough to take you for a walk. It might be taking a breath and giving gratitude for the fact that you can fill your lungs up. There are people who can't, all right? So all kinds of offerings, little ones. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's, um, it was from Rhonda Byrne in The Secret. She talked about a ritual she does every morning that when she steps out of bed, as her feet hit the ground, every time a foot strikes the ground, she says, thank you. 
thank you, thank you, thank you. So as she's going about her morning stuff, by the time she's had her cup of coffee, there have been a whole lot of gratitudes offered. We can do that. We can do that. So maybe it's finding a beautiful picture on your computer and blessing that, that image, whatever it is. So today is our day of gratitude and blessings, paying things forward, doing good in our world, honoring the little things, the cup of herb tea, whatever there is. That's what we're going to practice today. Opening up our hearts, feeling that, really feeling into that. Again, it's all opportunity. Even if we look ahead at the year and we have trepidation, we go, oh my God, how is this going to turn out? Shift gears, shift gears. I wonder how this is going to turn out practicing that faith and trust that good things are coming our way. Have an awesome New Year's Day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Remember, you're capable of far more than you think you are, including gratitude and making offerings. Bye-bye.